Hi, I'm Paul Doyle. I'm the CEO of Fabric Software. We're here at SIGGRAPH 2015 and we're showing Fabric Engine 2. Uh, the main announcement around Fabric 2 is it's going to be shipping this September and the focus is around a new visual programming system called Canvas. So Canvas is a visual programming system for LKL language. It's designed so that users that aren't even comfortable in scripting languages can build tools quickly and easily and deploy them through the pipeline. Uh, we did a uh, user group yesterday, it was a good 8 hour session, we had four customer sessions, MPC, double negative, a hybrid talking about the new open source rigging project built with, Kraken called, built with Fabric called Kraken, which is online now. Uh, we had Cy up there presenting some of the tools that they've built, and I think it was a very interesting show for us because we thought we were coming here just to talk more about Canvas for mid-sized and smaller studios, but actually a lot of the interest has been coming from high-level customers with looking at Fabric more as a, like a data transport layer through their pipeline. Uh, so supporting things like the new USD announcement from Pixar, uh, which is going to allow these, these studios to start sharing data in an easier, more elegant way. And so Fabric already supports USD, and we were showing some pretty interesting things with the user group. USD coming into our uh, scene representation, rendering with our real-time renderer, and then pushing out to RenderMan, which is um, Pixar have built an integration for that using Fabric, uh, which they've shared back to us, and that's going to be available in open source soon. I think we covered most of that. I, yeah, so the, the interesting side of things for us this show has been where Fabric fits with VR and AR. And I think we're most interested in the tools there, that the, the tools for virtual set production are, are lacking. Uh, and everyone's been talking about this. At the Oculus session on Monday, they gave a direct call out to say they hoped that Fabric would help resolve these problems of how do I take a, a film quality asset and actually get that looking good for a runtime without the long-term problem of baking something out and then going through an import process. Uh, so we've been working with Epic, and we now have an integration into Unreal Engine, and uh, this is some of the stuff that we're pushing on. So I'd say it's early days yet, but people that are on our beta are getting access to these tools, and we're really looking forward to seeing what people do. I think, uh, as we were saying, the, the VR space is the Wild West right now, and it's really cool to see people just hacking things together. You know, it's not all about commercial result, it's like what's cool. So it reminds me a lot of the, the demo scene kind of back in the day, showing my age a bit. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's been really interesting. I love the, the VR exhibit here, uh, and I think Fabric has a place within this. Um, it, it's good times. I think we can bring our knowledge of high-end film and game pipelines and start introducing this to how people build VR content.